guys! Today's video will be short and sweet. I just want to show beginner cello players the basic finger placement for three major scales, C major, G major, and D major. Many beginner cello books use these three scales, or these three keys, to write their exercises in and some of the early pieces, and many pop songs are written in these keys, and so once you are able to play these scales, you'll know where to put your fingers in relation to the key. And this makes improvisation much easier because if you stick to the basic finger pattern and use your ear, you'll be able to play along in any key. So to begin, here is C major. So we start out with open C. Now here is finger one on D. Finger three on E. Finger four on F. Now open G. So the bottom two strings, C and G, the finger pattern is one, three, four. One, three, four. So both of the two lower strings are one, three, four. The top two strings, D string and A string, are one, two, four. Now why would it be one, two, four instead of one, three, four like the other two strings? Well, if we played one, three, three, four on the top two strings, then we would end up with F sharp instead of F natural. And then again, C. But then if we played finger three, it would be C sharp. And so because C major does not have any sharps or flats, we must play finger two. And the reason why they're finger three on the bottom two strings is because if we played finger two, that one would be E flat. So there's E, and here's E flat. Same on the G string, here's B, and then B flat. But we want B. So, one, three, four, one, three, four, one, two, four, one, two. And then of course we end on two, because it's C. Now I will demonstrate the G major scale. And the difference between the G major scale and the C major scale is, of course, we start on G instead of C, and there is an extra sharp added. So, G major has F sharp, just one sharp, and that's it. And so, F sharp is finger three on the D string. So, starting on G, here's open G. Finger one, A. So listen, 
instead of just doing a half step, we're going to go up a whole step. So it goes from here, finger one on E, and then here comes F again, but we don't want F natural, F sharp. And so we're going to put down, instead of finger two, which would be F natural, we're going to put down finger three. And then finger four on G. And so again, we did two octaves. Here was the first G, which is open G, the third string. And go up an octave to fourth finger G on the D string. And then the last G, right there. And again, you can keep going, but I'm just doing two octaves today. So now let's look at the D major scale. This scale has two sharps, F sharp and C sharp. So let's look at our finger pattern. Here is just the top octave of the two octaves that I'm going to teach you. The bottom one is a little bit more complicated, so we'll do the simple one first. Here is open D. This is the note that we start on because it's the D major scale. And then finger one on E. Finger three on F sharp. Finger four on G. Open A. Finger one on B. Finger three on C sharp. And then finger four on D. Okay, so we raised F natural to F sharp. We raised C natural to C sharp by putting finger three instead of finger two. Now for the bottom octave. There is also an F sharp and a C sharp down here on the C string and on the G string. So usually we would do... We would just have four... Um, we would usually just have finger four right here. But since this note right here is F, but we want it to be F sharp, we have to raise finger four, we have to extend it. This is called an extended four. The same goes for C sharp. Usually it would be here. But because it has to be C sharp, we're going to extend finger four and play C sharp like that. So, because finger four has such a big stretch, all of the other fingers have to adjust to compensate for that. So, usually, this is what it looks like, right? So one, three, four, that's the usual block position. But because four has to be extended, that's a big gap between finger four and finger three, and it's very uncomfortable, and you can hurt yourself. So what we do instead is replace finger three with finger two. And so it's one, two, four. So, extend two. Now extend four. So, it's a really big stretch. <laughs> Helps to have bigger hands. But, you can do it. <laughs> so, today. I hope that that helped you. I will be posting more videos on more scales. These are the building blocks of everything that you will play. So learn them well and memorize them and you'll be good to go. Um, I hope that this video helped and keep coming back for more cello tutorials.